Hey guys, free guy level here, and today we're gonna be making a free website for free using Streamlabs Creator Sites. Now, if at this point you're wondering what is Streamlabs Creator Site and what is this whole thing about creating a website, I already have a video on it. Click top right of your screen right now if you haven't seen it yet. In this video, I go over all of the features that you get with a premium account. Basically, everything is unlocked, but that's not in today's video. Today's video is going to be focused on what can you get for free. I know on this uh, channel, I always talk about, hey, if you can save money and all of that. So I know a lot of you are going to be asking this question. So I'm going to answer it. Okay, let's not waste any time. I'm going to create a website for my bot. And that way we will really know what can you get when you don't spend a dime. Now, with that being said, if you already made up your mind on getting the premium version, I have a promo code in the description that will get you $10 off. So look for it. All right, we're riding in incognito now. I learned from my mistake. I'm not going to show you my face while trying to show you things on screen. So I'm going to connect to Streamlabs with my bots account. That's get on my level bot. So this is a bot account. I've never streamed on it. I haven't done anything with it. So we're going to discover this whole my website thing. So top left, you'll see my website. Also, I already have the premium version of uh, creator sites. So I technically have never been through the free process. So we're basically discovering it together like a family. So the first thing it's going to ask you is to choose your website theme. And it's pretty cool when you need the prime. Basically, Streamlabs Prime is this new thing that gives you all of the features uh, is what I already have, but not on my bot account. So it will tell you which themes are prime. Basically, I can't have this theme right now because it's prime. This one is prime. This one is prime, prime. This one is free, prime, free prime you guys know streamlabs they're going to be adding a bunch of them abstract 3d let's try this one we can always change that later on two clicks i clicked on my website i chose my theme and guess what my website is done chat like it's it they made it it's right there technically <laughs> technically the thing is i don't have donations i don't have anything set up with this bot so there's a lot of missing components but i can click save and publish and now Something they need to make clear is that uh, is what is my website. So once again, this is in beta, but right now there there's it doesn't seem to have my uh, website address anywhere. So technically, I don't know what my website address is. But that being said, I know it's going to be streamlabs.com slash get on my level bot. There you go. So that is the website you can click here. So there you go. It's already showing my website. I already have my Twitch up in here. I do not have donations on this account since it's my bots account. Um, so that's why donations are not appearing here. I also don't have uh, loyalty points or whatever. They would appear here. I don't even have a feed because I've never posted anything. I've never streamed. But if, but for you, if you're doing this with your own account, your feed will appear here, just like I showed on the other video. You can change that. You can also change that. Those are placeholders, basically. So if you're just looking to have a front page for, for your stream, for your live stream, for your Twitch stream, this is how easy it is to already have your website. So people can go to streamlabs.com streamlabs slash your name and find your website. Your feed will appear here. You will have clips and VODs. Uh, your donation box will be here and everything. And now let's look at every single feature that we can uh, use. So for themes, we already checked that. We can just click apply theme and it will install it. We know that already. You can apparently, I, I didn't even know about this. You can apparently save some themes. So if you ever want to revert back to your previous theme, you can do that apparently. This is awesome. They're working on it daily. So I'm seeing a lot of new features pop up. Okay, domain. Now I know that this is going to be a prime feature. If I want to secure my own domain, like getonmylevelbot.com, I am going to have to get the premium version. If you already have a domain, you can transfer it, but you're still going to be paying the same amount for the hosting and all the services that Streamlabs provide. So don't think that just because you already pay for a domain name that you're going to get Streamlabs uh, premium ed editor for free. That's not the case. Okay, so let's go to the design. What can we do here? It would be so much better if we had, if we actually had like a donation and all of that. I could set it up in, in like two seconds to be fair, but so I can already change some colors. Well, the, the main color here is that blue. We have that so we can change it. You guys know I love, I love some dark grays. All right, you can uh, make that little corners thing. You can make it a little rounder. 
or not round at all. I like when it's straight like that. Okay, and then obviously you can add add more components, which is going to be the next thing that we're gonna look at. But right before we go, let's see what we can do. Oh, okay, so there's add custom CSS, but you need to upgrade to Prime to be able to edit it. So technically, you cannot add your custom CSS. That means that you are limited to this module basically to customize your website, which isn't bad, but obviously, if you have the premium version, you can do whatever you want, pretty much. Talking about that, I should probably show you my actual website, getlevel.com, made with Streamlabs creator sites or Streamlabs websites. For now, this is like the front page. I have it here. So this is clickable. Go see my YouTube channel. This is actually a YouTube playlist, like content creator tips and tricks, which is pretty cool. Here I have a button for my merch. I have free overlays. I'm thinking of getting those animated. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, and then at the bottom, I have my stats for my social media. This is mostly to appeal to sponsors. If they check out my website, they can see that I have 15K on YouTube, which I don't even have yet. Uh, 2.5K on, on Twitch, 1.3 on Twitter, etc. And then in the menu, you can go to overlays. That's going to bring you to my Gumroad page where I have my free and, and cheap overlay packs. Uh, for sale. Uh, if you click on my Twitch, it's going to bring you to my Twitch channel. And if you click on portfolio, it's going to bring you to my um, my actual website. Anyways, so this is what I was able to create in like one day with the premium version. So, so far, although you can modify here little details, mainly colors about the theme you're going to choose, you cannot add custom CSS with the free version. Okay, now let's go to content. Let's see what do we have. So first thing that I see is that to add an external link or page, uh, just like I I have portfolio overlay and Twitch as an external link. Those are things that I added and they bring you to other uh, websites. You cannot have that with the free website. You cannot have a contact form because mostly because you can't have a custom email, but that's fine. What you can have though is images. So you can have images and as you can see here, you can have unlimited amounts of images basically. I, I think it's unlimited. <laughs> For example, on my premium version website, this is an image. Basically I have a background image. I have a main image here. Uh, this is an image. This is an image. Those little dividers that you see here, those little gray dividers are also uh, images actually. So technically, even with the free version, you could recreate this right there. Actually, let's, you know what? Let's actually try to do that. Let's, let's try to do, let's try to recreate it. So uh, if you don't know how it works, it's basically you choose your rows, you can change the layout for the rows, and then you can add whatever module you want. But right now I'm going to get rid of everything. You get rid of stuff by hovering over it and then click on the trash bin. Okay, so now I have absolutely nothing on this page. That way I can really see what I can add. And from what I see, except for the contact form, you have the exact same options as a premium version member. So so when it comes to what you can display on your main page, at least, uh, it's all there. It's all there. The fact that you can add so many images is what is going to make your design look good. <laughs> Basically, you can use Photoshop a lot. You can add unlimited text. So whatever paragraph you want to add, you can add some YouTube videos or a playlist as, as I did here. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention in my other video is the whole Twitch panel thing. Well, I mentioned it, but I didn't show it. So right now on my main website, I have those Twitch panels. First of all, let's go dark mode because, oh my God. Oh, okay. That's better. By the way, that's a free overlay pack based on uh, Rage 2, gumroad.com slash get level. Anyways, let's try to import those uh, Twitch panels. I am going to add a row like this. I'm going to click and drag Twitch panel. Okay. I'm going to click on the cogwheel. I'm going to hover over it and where it says Twitch panel, I'm going to click on the cogwheel. Okay, so here it actually gives me the option to upload them one by one, which is something I didn't know actually. You can upload your own images and then you can just add the text kind of like Twitch panels work. You know, when you edit them, you can add well, the, the image and then underneath you have the text. Same thing here. And can they be clickable? Is there 
image links to url and you can make them clickable so apparently it was one by one i believe i did not add the per the right layout so let's import this first panel just click import and boom that panel is here what happens if i choose another panel and then i click import okay it replaces it so you need to figure out like which layout you need so we're going to delete this we're going to delete the whole row we're going to add a new row and let's say that i need four panels Let's say that I need four panels wide. So I'm going to click here. So I'm, I'm going to have four panels like that. We will play around with the row height later by clicking on this thing. So we can like play around with the height. But let's uh, import Twitch panel. So we're going to import one here. Click here. Click import. And that's done. Now keep in mind that I am also discovering those things like right now. So if you if you find better ways to do those things, more efficient ways to do those things, please, please leave them in the comment section below. And there you go. With a completely free version of uh, Streamlabs website creator, uh, we made this. Let me go back real quick. So custom email, that's going to be prime. Uh, your SEO settings, basically your channel description, more metadata, that's going to be prime. And the general settings here is basically your social media settings. I'm guessing they're going to add more stuff. Of course, this was an example using a channel that has no VODs, that has no donation panel, that doesn't use any extension that I've never streamed on. And you can still already make it look this good. So there you go. If you have any questions about how to make your feel you shouldn't you shouldn't if you watch the video you shouldn't <laughs> but if you have some uh advice some tips and tricks about how to make a website look better or how to do a a specific thing let me know because i want to make a video the thing is with custom css i'm not good at css at all but i have friends that are super good so i'm discovering little parts and i will try to make them into a video basically showing oh here's how you can do this if you want to do that here's how you can do it using creator sites i also have a specific discord channel on my server the link's going to be in the description that you can join that is dedicated for Streamlabs and and customizing your website on there hopefully those who were still hesitant after watching my first video will understand that hey you can pretty much do the same thing for free especially if you're just starting right if it's your first website ever if you're not that big of a content creator or if you're not sure about things it's good to be able to try with the free version knowing that you can go premium at any point in time once again for those who are already decided i have a promo code when you're getting the premium version in the description look out for it <laughs> but that is all from me for today thank you so so much for watching my video i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out